quite a long history to this place. It is a testament to humans' refusal to concede defeat in the face of adversity. Word to the wise. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow. Could be an old tooth from another night. Yeah. I wonder if we should have. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Ah, uh, yes, Aggies. I have spent far too much time here. I do not recommend it. This bar, maybe. if you're here about the blood stain, I'll get to it when I get to it. You, you ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. I heard you ain't deaf. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? Now, after all this time, you could have dropped in any time in, oh, the last nine years or so. Maybe that wouldn't have been too convenient for you, though. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. If either of you cared, you wouldn't just be showing up now. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove him. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help? I should kill you where you stand. You are right. We should focus on finding him. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. <sighs> It is a good day, yes? We have something to go on, at least. I am grateful that you showed some compassion, despite that woman's attitude. I do not have your patience. And yet it is my past we are trying to clear up. That is... 
It means a lot. I am eager to reach Hyla too, and speak to Eren. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him. Provide him a sense of safety. Look after yourself, hmm? Starting landing procedure. We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. What does your scanner reveal?
We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. You see anything useful? I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. I don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong, I am sure of it. This cannot all be for me. Or nothing.
You found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. She has been for as long as I have known her. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement. How she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge. But to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I've discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jeda, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the zealots to find him that they knew where to look for him. His fears were well-founded. If the Zealots did indeed come for him. What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Yes. I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tomisar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Eren should never have heard of him. It is hardly that simple. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. It's a former purpose. Either she is here, or someone will know where we can find her. Only a matter of time before I, I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard Ever to wonder believe. How the hey there. Ain't seen you before. What brings you to the den? Ah, man with a purpose. Good, I like that. Don't worry, I won't ask questions. I know well as anyone that secrets ought to stay secret. Well, you're welcome here, so long as I don't hear you disrespecting the United Colonies military. You got a problem with our history or our heroes? And you can find somewhere else to get yourself a drink. Clear? Well, now that depends. You support the UC? Consider yourself a patriot? Sure as hell does. All right, maybe you can help me out. I had some posters made up a while back to remind folks of the good work Ve Victus has done for all of us. Try and push back against all the lies the government tells. I'd put them up here, but that's, uh, caused some friction with the Vanguard pilots. I hate to see them go to waste, though. If a strong-willed, patriotic individual, such as yourself, were to make sure some of them were placed where they could inspire the people of the United Colonies, well, that'd be something. And there'd be some credits in it for anyone helping out the UC. What do you think? All 
I was thinking the well might be a good spot. People down there might be more receptive, don't you think? That's the spirit. All right. Posters are in the back there, and you just let me know when you're done. That's so, Vanguard pilot. A pretty good one from what I hear. Got a real attitude, though. You could always ask the other Vanguard pilots, or since you're already here, I do happen to offer services in exchange for payment. One of those services can be information. You get what I'm saying here? Nah, no, not at all. There's gotta be coercion for it to count as extortion. This is just good old fashioned business. Then I will tell you that I happen to overhear she's out in the Groombridge system. And from what I hear, Raina ain't happy about it. And our little transaction here is concluded. Pleasure doing business. Long live the UC. I'm on what you call a long-term assignment. Suits me fine, so long as the UC keeps paying me. It would seem more prudent that the UC simply shut down this entire station rather than allow it to endure in this state. show your face I am glad to see that you are safe Jada I am sorry if if this is difficult for you difficult are you serious right now you set us up killed my friends and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened have you lost your mind set you up I I never I was not behind that it was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? 
her backup dancer? Okay. Clearly I'm fine, relatively speaking. You've got some explaining to do, though. What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Why? So you can finish the job she started? Jada, you are my friend. I was not part of that attack. You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <sighs> told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. So, <laughs> you think you've won, do you? That's him. That's the bastard responsible for the ambush. If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down. Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both. Get back to your ship! <laughs> I smile today in the knowledge that the Great Serpent has truly blessed my ship and my crew. Why else would he have Welcome delivered to the, gate, the dregs of our purge years ago? The awful that escaped our righteous justice. Pathetic High Council, who betrayed the Church, yet murdered by the Great Serpent, gave you over to us to atone for their sins. It always hurts me that you escaped the fate you deserved. But now, the Serpent sets my mind at ease. And in his name, I will cleanse your filth from this universe. I... I do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Varun in the most hostile way possible, and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions does not make them correct. Something about this does, does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. <laughs> I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. 
I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. It is not just about rules. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Barun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home, unless I am permitted. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. Likely for us both. I need you to trust me. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. They were abandoned when peace was brokered. They are an excellent place to hide in plain sight. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. Thank you. Please give me a moment.
I am not the one who needs to explain himself, Tommy Sar. I am surprised by your tone. What has gotten into you? This is very unlike you. Almost insubordinate. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I send you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friends, who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tommy Star. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. You know nothing of it! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. But I am. If you let Andrija hurt me, I am an only link to the High Council. To House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But he deserves it. Does he not? He gave my friends to the Zealots. Might as well have killed them himself. How does that not warrant justice? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this, I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do. Yes. It is the only right thing. You betrayed me, Tommy Sar. When you see the Great Serpent, be sure and tell him who sent you. supposed to be the one to do it! That was not your decision to make. I am not sorry he is dead, but... This is not how it was supposed to go. We can discuss this later. Right now we need to get out of here. And then we need to return to the lodge. He is responsible! He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But... He deserves it. Does he not? I have been betrayed! Why should I care anymore? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this, I lose my home, probably forever. I do not, I do not know what to do. 
I know. I want to so badly. I do not know how to live with this. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over. The High Council will hear of your treason. Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tommy Sar. Think on that. Come. Let us leave this place. I wish to return to the Lodge. You will regret this! The Grey Serpent will see you punished for your impudence. Something on your mind? Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Barun. This room... ...may now be the only place I have left to call home. Yes. <laughs> I know that I am not completely alone. And that offers some comfort. But it is more complicated than that. I worry that I have made a mistake. What if... ...Tommy Sar... ...betrays me to the High Council? What if he turns House Varun against me, and I am cut off from them forever? I know you will, but that may not be enough. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Varun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. I am unsure it is that simple. But you are right. I do have people here who care about me. Chief among them, it seems, is you. You have been by my side through all of this. The most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me. Faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. Uh, well, that is... I am sorry. I need a moment. I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me. But... If you mean it, my feelings are not so different from yours. I am afraid, though, that it cannot be. I am not willing to share you with anyone else, and you are already in a relationship. I could, however, use a best friend, and I think he would fit that role very well. So if we are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you. In the way that you have for me. How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? Eager to help, if I can. Yes, of course. I am not surprised you have questions. It is not for the faint of heart, I assure you. To know what the future will bring, what will be not just your fate, but that of all those around you. And yet to have no choice but to keep that to yourself, it is a challenge. But as I have told you, it also fills me with purpose. And that purpose is what guides me and drives me. You might as well just ask me to explain the universe. Here is what I can tell you. The Great Serpent revealed himself to Jinan Barun decades ago. He explained that it was he who had created this galaxy and breathed life into it. And while he had slumbered after his creation, he would return soon. And when he did, 
Those who had served him in his stead would be rewarded while the rest were cast into shadow. And so for generations, we have prepared for his return. I wish I could say, we allowed Tommy Sar to live, but he may well defame me before the High Council in an effort to save himself. I will have to make sure that what we discovered reaches the High Council. I do not know how. But that is for me to do on my own. I am human. Of course it bothers me. But I have a mission. And my mission helps preserve the lives and safety of my people. That is more important than my personal feelings. For all that I have seen and experienced, I have never been as afraid as the day Sarah and Vladimir confronted me. But they agreed to keep my secret. And they have held true to their word. That surprised me but also gave me some amount of comfort. I know that most would not react the same. House Varun is still widely hated in the settled systems, and that sentiment will not change anytime soon. It is, after all, much of the reason I was sent here in the first place. You know, of course, of our tumultuous history with the people of the settled systems. Few have forgiven the Serpent's Crusade. The High Council worries that many would still plot to wipe us out completely. And so we watch. We look for warning signs and we send word back. And it does not help that we are unfortunately still dependent on supplies. Life on the edge of the settled systems is difficult and no one will formally trade with us. So agents also help oversee deals with smugglers and the operations needed to transport supplies back home. No, thank you. It is good to be able to discuss this with someone. I enjoy the conversation. A good team always shares the load. Is it foolish to say that I feel very protective? I, I, I have something which I value greatly, and I wish to keep it safe. I would certainly hope so, or I might feel quite foolish right now. I look forward to our next discussion. Safe return to the Lodge will please the other members of Constellation.